Okay, so today we're troubleshooting a friend's worn winch. It's a M8000 model. Doesn't really matter, they all work the same. So you can see I'm jumpering power off the battery here. Running it to the back. And then I've got my negative lead onto the negative terminal on the winch. And all I'm doing is I'm jumpering armature over to F1. And then F2, we're going to jump her directly to power. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is, uh, if the winch motor works correctly, it should spool out for me. So, let's stick this here. And as you can see, it spools out fine. Next thing we're going to do, because we know that the winch motor works correctly one way, is we're just going to use a 13 mil wrench. Just loosen these bolts. And now all we're going to do to check that the motor works correctly for spool in is we're just going to simply switch armature to F2. We're just going to jumper it straight across and then we're going to apply power to F1. So washer, nut. So again we're just using uh, one of the cables just to jump her power straight across and this time just to save time I'm going to skip hooking up this lead and I'm just going to connect positive directly to F2 Oop. and you can see it spools in fine so we know that this winch motor works correctly next we're going to troubleshoot the actual solenoids themselves and to do that I'm going to disconnect the solenoids and I'm going to ground one side, connect positive to the other, and see if I have continuity in between the two posts. So just to save some time, I'm going to disassemble these off camera, and we'll be right back.